Hi everyone, Rick Bray with BT BOCES Instructional Support, and in this video I'd like to show you how to attach an audio recording to a Schoology assessment question. Now where this could be really helpful is if you have students with accommodations who require test questions to be read to them, this will allow the student to have the question read to them directly from Schoology without the need for additional assistance. It also provides a little bit of universal access in that regard where all students can have the question read to them if they choose. Uh, and and it's created in your own voice, so it's a little bit more familiar to the students. The way we're going to do this today is using a website, onlinevoicerecorder.com. Now, the reason that we like using this website is that you can do a rough edit of the audio clip right from this website in terms of trimming the start and the end points um, to help do a rough edit. Additionally, once you download the file and post it within the question in Schoology, this tool will allow the uh, audio file to stream directly from Schoology and it doesn't require the student to download the file like some other tools do. This is also voice recorder, uh, uh, excuse me, onlinevoicerecorder.com is an app in the Chrome Web Store if you're using the Chrome Web Browser or a Chromebook, and it's this top one right here. And if I'm lucky, I'll, uh, I'll put a link in this annotation bubble at the bottom of the screen that you can follow. So let's get right into it. Here within Schoology, I've made a question, and uh, I've written the question, I've written my answers. This happens to be a multiple choice question. You could certainly do this uh, method with any style question, uh, but I've selected my correct answer and I'm ready to go. All I have to do is record myself saying this question in onlinevoicerecorder.com and insert that media. So we'll go to onlinevoicerecorder.com's website, press record and start reading the question. What is the term used to describe the amount of energy needed to remove a valence shell electron from an atom? All right, great. Now I can uh, I can adjust my starting point and end point. What is the term so used that the question to describe the amount of electron is only how much I want? Atom. Great. So I'll just click here save. It uh, it renders the file and then I'll have to hit save again to actually save this file to my computer. You can save it anywhere you want. It automatically titles it the length of the recording, but you could certainly change this to help keep track of things. I hit save, we'll replace it, that's fine. Uh, and if I wanted to record another question, I simply hit record again and go. Excellent. So now going back to the question, to insert this file, I'm just gonna take my cursor to a new line and insert media. Then I need to go and attach the file, which again, it was the eight second clip on my desktop. We'll select it, say open. And it's gonna look like that yellow box at first and that's completely fine. When all is said and good, we hit save question. And you may notice that it says converting media and it wants you to download that. That's just a temporary thing until the file is ready. You'll know the file is ready because like in the second question, there's a play button that's there. So if I hit that, you know, it's an example I did earlier. Which theory states that the planets the question plays directly in uh, the browser for the student. They don't have to actually download it. Let's see if I refresh the page if that's going to help. Sure enough, the question's ready to go, so it would be live for students. Again, it lets them stream without having to download the file uh, on their own. So there you go. That's how to use onlinevoicerecorder.com to uh, attach an audio recording into a Schoology assessment question. If you have any questions, please feel free to email either Taylor or myself. And as always, thank you for watching.